It is finals time, ladies and gentlemen, here for the UMG Prime Ghost 4v4 Search and Destroy. It is going to be Golden Blood facing off against the side of SZN. And we're starting things off here on some Octane Search and Destroy. Both these teams have had a number of different battles trying to get their way here toward the finals. And they've officially accomplished that goal. But the next thing in mind, to walk away with champions to walk away with the high majority of that $2,200 prize pool. A lot of money on the line. These rounds mean a lot each time, and it looks like it will be the side of SCN walking away with not just first blood in the, uh, in the, in the map, or in the uh, round, but as well in the entire game. It's late. I apologize. I, I have no idea what I just said. I, I, I physically have no idea what I just said. <laughs> and it sounded like it made sense to me. I apologize. It's, it's pretty late here. What time is it? It's, uh, it's 1 a.m. Central Time. Shout out to uh, anyone who's watching this. Who uh, is later. Appreciate the support. It's been a long night, but it's been fun. It's been a fun night. It's been an interesting one. I think it's, it's fair to say. It's been an interesting one. This formal will take down Illy after Aquatic. Not lucky enough to try and stay alive. Looks like some shots being exchanged in the side of formal. We're still trying to stay up right now. On the other side, we've got Rapid trying to get that line sight on formal. Can he get it? Yes. Very, very solid shot there coming in from Rapid. As if you will start to combine and now twerk left all by himself one on two. Bomb is down as well, so gonna have to rat to grab that one quick. Does so. He's going to plant for that left side, so being aware of that potential snipe that could be happening over inside a pawn. Now, what's the play here from Twerk? What's the angle he bends to hold? And what's the strategy from both Rapid and Dashy of SCN? Do they try to hop on the bomb? Do they try to seek out where Twerk could be? They find one. Dashy's down. And Rapid is coming here on the chase. Has that pistol in hand. He's trying to find Twerk, but Twerk going around the outside. Only has a few more seconds left to try and waste. He does spot him. Fires a few excess shots just to make Rapid peek out. And despite Rapid finding that kill, not going to be enough time to hop on that defuse. As that will be a round granted to the side of Golden Blood. The kills didn't all have to be there. But it was Twerk who was able to withstand that one-on-two scenario. So with that, to kind of break things down for you guys as far as how this series will be taking place. These are, or the, the, technically this final will be a best of five. Not best of threes anymore when it comes into prime tournaments. Finals are best of five. So I've talked about best of threes throughout this entire tournament. Well, each map does mean a lot. There are a few more rounds that you necessarily don't want to throw away, but you have a little more, more to work with, I think it's fair. To uh, mention. So, staying through the eyes of Twerk, he's made the aggressive rush. He's firing some shots, but can't win that gunfight. There's going to be Illy who walks away with that one. And speaking of Illy, as he will try to get again another kill, this one now going to be on Hugs as a Quantic will now be left in a one on three. Speaking of guys like Illy, and uh, a few actually players in this game, you should be recognizing quite a few of them. I, th I think it's fair to, to bring up when it comes down to the uh, teams that we have. I know if you've been watching this stream up to this point, you most likely recognize the guys from Golden Blood. Of course, Hugs, Aquatic, Formal, and Twerk. One of those especially being Formal. I think it's fair to say. Most people are going to definitely uh, know the name of Formal, Optic Formal. And from the side of uh, SZN, you most likely have potentially heard of uh, Dashy, of course, pro player for, previous pro player for Straight Rippin. I believe is a... Uh, Free agent heading into World War II. I know he's trying to team with, uh, I think it's uh, Bevels. I think Decimate, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on Decimate, but I know for sure he's teaming with Bevels. So looking for a new start in World War II. And of course, you've probably heard of guys like Mutex, a.k.a. Moo Moo. Uh, Illy, Rapid as well. Very, very known players when it comes down to the Search and Destroy game. And it's not at all surprising to see them here in the finals. Formal making his way forward. Nice shot there with that Remington up close. Tosses the nade out for good measure. Not going to get anything with that and just runs right past an enemy. 
It'll be Illy to one on three. He's the hot man to start off this map. And that's the reason why. Shuts down Aquatic just toward his left now. Is one just toward bottom gas. And Illy is sprinting around the entire map. Rounding everything out. And unfortunately, he does get caught out there from hugs from behind. And had Illy been able to maybe get an angle here, had hugs not maybe right in the corner so quick. That could have been a one-on-two clutch there from Ellie in the end, but regardless, it will be one in the books for the side of Golden Blood. And to be totally honest with you, as far as predictions for not just this map, but this series, honestly, I think this one has the potential to go to the distance. I mean, both these teams, I would imagine I haven't been able to watch uh, SZN, but Golden Blood has been what? I think they've, they've, they beat Prime, Prime Champs 2-0. They beat Winners 2-0. As Hugs just absolutely destroys Mutex in that situation. They are a combined 4-0 in their last two series, and we're you know getting obviously toward the finals here in those last two series, quarters and semis. So they're obviously feeling good. Not exactly sure on the exact series count that SCN has had up to this point, but I'd imagine that they've had a pretty dominant victory or pretty dominant run up to this point. In the finals as well. So both these teams not holding back whatsoever. As round by round we do go on Octane, as one will yet again go the way of Golden Blood in this past one. Take a look at the uh, top right scorecard. Nothing really standing out too much. Uh, just the fact of uh, Illy and Rapid right now for the set of SZN playing pretty well. Six and four for Illy. Rapid closing at five and two. And a fairly consistent when it comes into Golden Blood. Five and four. Would have freaked out if Dash would hit that snipe just because it's physically not possible to see anybody. Aquatic finding two. Mutex trying to even the odds out a little bit more. Want to play right in the corner? Can you get the time? Because the question firing through the wall is hugs. He will walk away with that gunfight. And yet again, another player for SCN left in a clutching situation where the odds are just not in their favor. And for Dashi, they will not be also. Shut there for formal. Remington in hand. As he'll advance his kill total to five as well. Two round advantage right now for the side of Golden Blood. I'm going to take a look at the side of SCN, see what they've got rocking at the moment. It looks like they are going to be making a, an aggressive rush here over toward A, so an offside hit. No smokes down either. That's something to kind of bring up. But it looks like their position is known. You like to expect that a sniper, or at least some type of, of uh, thermal, whether it's on a Remington or on a USR, potentially. The position was known. It looks like it was. Mutex just dodging that stun. Eight as well. A few hit markers gained for Golden Blood. Making the rush. Spots one on Aquanic. He's down. Now it's up to formal. One on three. Sniper rifle out. His position is known. Players are jumping, but he's getting hit markers. Those are all going to hold a close angle, as they absolutely should. Sniper in hand and kind of waving the white flag right now is formal. Just trying to find anything he possibly. Could and Dashi is going to meet him there with a sniper rifle shot of his own. Solid shot there coming in from the man known as Dashi. Dashing kill. Really, truly. Absolutely dashing. After seven rounds, only a one round advantage right now for Golden Blood. We'll see what Hugs is looking to do here. We have that sniper rifle off. Marks in the cross just misses that one and dash at the same time. Actually shuts down twerk. So some aggression coming in from the defensive side, trying to push out and limit instead of golden blood just into into a strip actually. As one is currently making the way out, that is going to be formal. Could get a pick on. It looks like mutex through middle. Mutex backs up. The nade is not going to affect him. Smoke out. He is going to spot him. For the time, Mutex will stay alive for now. Player coming from behind, getting ready to shut down the formal. That is going to be Illy. One last player alive. That is going to now be Hux. One on three. Bomb is down. Mutex is down. 
seems like Hugs' chances of this round are starting to slip away as well. Grabs the bomb just for good measure, but there's not going to be any time for him to get to a site. As he will drop as well. So two rounds in a row now for the side of SZN. As they're starting to build things back up. And Illy, the prodigy. Jumping out of strip and making that kill happen. He's already reached double digits. A major role in the reasoning as to the success that his team has had so far in this map one. Bomb not grabbed, actually, by anyone on the side of SCN. Most likely players in strip will wrap back to grab that one soon as Rapid finds hugs for the first blood. Peeking in strip yet again, but not seeing anyone. Looks like uh, one player just jumps out of... Bottom broken, that's a big gunfight. One is actually three. Kills go down, two of those happening for Golden Blood. As this one's now a two on two, just on the outside. Mumu, oh my gosh, great reaction there from Utex. Just the great intuition that comes through. And now Aquanic in a position to clutch. Granted, he is on defense. So that is something to mention. However, if you are looking at that top left or can see obviously see that oracle they're making that push all the way around toward a it looks like quantic is pushing that way as well here comes the prenade will it get anything is the question so no knowledge gained however he does get the indicator the bomb is down now on on that site and we'll see what the push is Both line sites watch, so if he does enter down, he will see at least one player immediately. Spots one that is going to be Mutex, and Mutex will be there to shut him down in the end. Mutex as well with, well, you might say, uh, you know, the reasoning why he has so much score. It's because he's got three plants in this game. Along with a defining kill that does seal the deal in this round. As it will now be... Five rounds to four. Only one more round needed for the side of SCN to close out. Map one, put it in the books. Pull things down on Octane for now. As stuns, nades coming through. Dash yet again finding another kill. This time it's on formal. You've actually been seeing a few Reddit uh, Reddit posts, actually. Reddit videos between Dash and formal. They've been playing against each other, playing on each other's teams as well. Pretty familiar with one another's play style. As Rapid finds yet again another kill. This time it's going to be on Aquanic with that sniper rifle. Doing some damage. Gets the hit marker. That's unfortunate. Thankfully his teammate's there for the cleanup. And that's work. Shuts down Dashi a one on one. Actually forced round 11. And Rapid could go for the jump snipe. Maybe spots that player going for the. Or might have spotted Twerk there going for that plant. Trying to find it, but it's such a difficult shot to hit. Peeking forward and twerk. What's the plan here? Does he rotate to A or does he try to go for the gunfight? He can spot the barrel. He has to rush up and is Rapid ready for it is the question. Rapid watching the angle. This is going to be very difficult for, for twerk now. He realizes maybe it's not the great, greatest idea to try to and check. Rapid looking over toward A and it looks like he will not choose the right site. Twerk. Makes a very ballsy play, to say the least, over toward B. And chooses correctly. So now how does Rapid play this? Rapid for the win. Can't find it. He waits too long on the snipe. and But he gets it in the end either way. Peeks back around. And the extra shots just to seal the deal. He will grab the defuse. That sniper shot, this is the bullets. Will signify a game number one victory. So put it in the book, six rounds to four. This one going over toward SZN. So props to those guys for obviously taking this one. It seemed like it was going back and forth. And at times we thought, we thought that uh, Golden Blood going up four rounds to two would kind of seal the deal. But 
In the end, it was SCN who was more clutch at the uh, ending point of that game. Illy dropping 11 and 8 highest kills, not just for his team, but in the entire lobby. So he's obviously having a, a pretty, hard, hard, pretty hot start to this series. And in that number two will be Warhawk Search and Destroy. So we're going to have a little bit of a different pace when it comes down to that. Of course, we've been able to watch uh, Golden Blood play on that map uh, quite a bit. I think in our last two series, we've been able to watch them play on that map. So they've been, they've been playing pretty well when it comes down to that. But when you play against SCN, though, it's a totally different story. Totally different team and uh, a much more talented team. I think it's fair to say. So, guys, we're going to do a commercial break. When we return, we've got map number two in this best of five series. It's the finals of the Prime. It's Golden Blood. It's SCN. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone, to the UMG Prime Ghost 4v4 Search and Destroy. We're in the finals between Golden Blood and SEN. We're taking a look at map number two, S and D on Warhawk. It looks like kills already starting to take place. Aquanic dropping for Golden Blood, Mutex as well as Dashi dropping for SZN. And of course, it was SZN. It took map number one. They won Octane six rounds to four. And the side of Golden Blood trying to uh, wipe away the previous loss, trying to have that short-term memory that we do hear pro Call of Duty players or competitive Call of Duty players talk about quite a bit. He's twerking along with a kill, we'll fire a few extra bullets. Just to let Rapid know. Hey, I killed you. In case you didn't know. In case you didn't realize. Move it! Gonna be sticking through the line side here of Twerk and Co. from the side of Golden Blood. Snipes continue to come in this time. Mutex dropping formal in that battle, in that exchange. Looking through the eyes of the offensive team right now. Twerk trying to make his way forward. Shots coming in. Actually, toward 10. Finds one toward his left. Can he find another toward his right? No, too many players for Twerk to try and find. As more bullets will be exchanged, this time Rapid firing a few and hugs his body. No love lost between these two teams. I guess you'd say there's bad blood in Golden Blood. And I'm, I, I tried I tried to get it. It didn't work. I, I was trying to think of like a cool way to say it. It just didn't happen for me. Nice snipe there from Dashy. I think they ended up having uh, two snipers out, both Dash and Mutex, in that last round. As I think we definitely need to stay on board with uh, a few of those guys. I think Formal has been having that sniper rifle out as well. So, going to see what he tries to find here with that first blood. Potential. Just being aware of that bottom peak. Could be making from side drug. It looks like nothing, no information gained as of yet. Dashy on the back foot, however, making his presence felt. Fairly aggressive right now from the side of SZN. Twerk finding Illy. Dashy in a very decent position right now, actually. That bomb is down. This should definitely be around the SZN. Should walk away with it. They're around to lose at this point. Dashy just seems to be just aggressive, in my opinion. He kind of rushes a little bit too far forward. His position gets dropped. Twerk finding that kill. And now Rapid in the backside. Trying to even out the deficit. Finds one inside of 10. However, there are two players on the backside. This is going to be Hugs. He ends up dropping, but Formal finds one. Now it's all left up to Mutex. And a one on two. Thankfully, the bomb is down. Can he find the kills? The question, yes. Finds one player just toward his left. Tries to escape. Can he live? Is the question. And Oquanic, he misses the shots. He'll find the kill. But it's too late. He can't find him fast enough. Mutex just sprinted out of there as quick as he could. And that'll be around to the side of SCN. I had just had to stay on board with Mutex's point of view because I was just waiting for him to die. But no, Aquanic couldn't fire enough bullets in the back. I'm not sure if he had the, if he had like a pistol out or what was going on there. But just couldn't finish him off and couldn't get to that bomb site in time. As I think Aquatic was maybe reflecting on uh, some, some bad memories in the last round for a second, but uh, to switch over to a new weapon. And we'll be watching that flank, so. Remington in hand. And that play to watch the flank could definitely pay off. They'll most likely check this. Yeah, so he's going to drop a valiant effort there from Aquatic, but he will fall. And of course, Hugs realizes that there are three players on the flank. It's not going to go for the quick plant, which is exactly what you want to do. 
I'm gonna put on the back foot that is Mutex. He's not going to be in the fight, at least for now, so. Current three on two as Mutex starts to join the fight. He'll find one on the backside. Two on two now. Mutex just coming out of Water Tower. As Hugs finds Raffin and Formal will shut down Mutex at the exact same time. These will now be level at two rounds apiece. And it seemed like a really interesting push, actually, from the side of SE. And, of course, they send three on a full-fledged flank. That's three Fs. And they obviously end up shutting down, I believe it was Aquanic, on the flank. And uh, they're making a decent push. At the exact same time, I like the idea that the Hugs immediately gets that bomb down. He knows that there's three players on the flank. He gains that information and immediately does it. And it does work out. And Formal just got a hit marker through a building on, I believe, uh, Mutex there. So... Most likely some frustration being called out in the communications, but regardless, though. An interesting last round. Regardless, it does go the way of Golden Blood, and we'll see how the D1 comes down to defense on the offense, however. See, it, see it's one of you rapid finding one. At the exact same time, Dashy does as well on hugs. As we'll be able to see the final kill cam here. Montagues just coming out onto that drug platform. And putting another one in the books here. So like I said, fully expect to see very, very close maps, very close rounds throughout this entire series. It wouldn't surprise me if every every map at least sees around 9 or around 10. Every game at least. But these teams are very, very close in skill as the Early need comes in from Rapid. At the same time, Quantic finding one on Illy. Hugs finding one just underneath of Trailer. That one is Dashy, so he will drop. So the offensive team now does have the one man count advantage just as that happens. Rapid able to escape with his life, but only for the time. Now it's up to Mutex. He has an idea of the positioning of where these final two players could be. At least spots one, you'd like to imagine. Now it has lost that line side. And it looks like we could be seeing Hugs and Torque making that push. Now over toward A. To get that one down. And advance themselves forward. And Mutex might be aware of such. Tossing out that prenade. Is it going to do any damage though is the question. I don't believe it gains any hit markers. That's the uh, due to the fact that Mutex still checks over at B. So no information gained as yet. Bomb is not down actually. And still no hit markers. So with that, Mutex can have to rely on that vector. No tactical lethals in his back pockets anymore. He shuts down to work. And now what's the play to shut down Hugs? Hugs just hanging on that bomb. Not really moving too far away from it. Actually just enters in the opposite side. He peeks out the, the door and Mutex doesn't spot him. Just unfortunate timing there. If you are in Mutex's position, Trying to check every angle possible, and it looks like this one is not going to go his way. Only a few more seconds left. Is he going to peek around the corner and find him? And no, he's not going to check the right corner hugs. It's a very risky position to sit in that exact angle. And Mutex will gift him that kill and wrap it up for him. How nice. How kind of Mutex. So Hug says, thank you very much. As round number six will conclude, round, round number seven now underway as we're going to be able to watch the uh, sniper duel. This time, looking through the eyes of Rapid, he's not going to spot anyone. Of course, switches back toward that vector class. Smart idea. Twerk, the aggressive man himself. Spotting one early on in Bricks. Peeks back out. Makes him pay, does Dashy. Formal drops. Hug's trying to make what of it, somewhat of an impact as he'll find two kills, but... Kills that won't swing the round in his team's favor. Speaking of two kills, Dashy in the final kill cam actually finding two. One of those being on hugs. Final one at that. As round by round, we start to go back and forth. One round advantage right now for the side of SCN. It would be huge in this best of five series. Got to keep that in mind. If they were to go up two rounds to zero, Snipes coming in. I believe that is from Rapid. Actually, no, it's not, it's not from Rapid. I didn't perform all, but 
potentially on the opposite side. I'm not exactly sure who that was. Apologies on that. Regardless. Quantic just missing. It looks like Dash going to top drug. Peek smack out. Did he get the kill is the question? Yes. Shuts down to work. Moving his way forward is Dashy Skong above. So shuts down another, and now it's left up to Aquanic, and he will drop as well. Five rounds to three. One more round needed for Matt number two to be in the books. Mutex just gets a good comp from his teammates. Of course, Dashy farming two from above, kind of on that uh, top drug area, as well as on, to, on that 18 wheeler. Dashy as well at 11 and 5. Double digits for him and map two. It was Illy who dropped double digits in map number one. Granted, not having the best game number two right now, but he does have his teammates to thank for that. Not affecting the score as far as the uh, deficit. And Hugs actually hanging here over toward A. And this player, despite what happens, Hugs is going to be wary that this push toward A could be happening. Wouldn't be surprising if we do see Hugs stay here for a little bit longer unless a call it does come into play. So what the side of SEN is doing is they're trying to wait out. And as long as they wait, Hugs could be thinking, well, maybe that push isn't coming anymore. It's kind of like a reverse psychology type of situation that the side of SEN is currently working with. It looks like Hugs just spot one, so we're going to give that call out to his teammates. He needs to find this one. At least shuts down Illy. Let's do a two on three. Here comes the retake, potentially coming in from Golden Blood. Mutex tries to wrap back. Rapids here as well. As we will play a little bit of uh, cat and mouse. From behind, Mutex spots at least one. The question is, are they going to realize that Rapids here as well? No, they're not going to realize that. Rapid shuts down one. No one on that bomb as of yet. Actually, just as I say that, it's going to be Twerk. Can he get the defuse in time? One run in the corner, but no, Rapid's going to be here. But it looks like it will be Aquanic who's there from behind and will just have enough time to get that defuse off. So the successful 3v2 retake will come through. And we will see at least one more round come into play. Still a one round advantage toward the side of SZN. And this is a big round coming in right now from Golden Blood, especially it being an offensive one. But being the fact that they do lose this, they will be down, down 0-2 in this series. Shots being exchanged. Hugs narrowly staying alive. Him playing as well as he is. You can't afford to lose him. Nades coming in from either team. And just goes to show how even these teams are. Pre-nades at the exact same time. Shit down the other. Both Hugs and Dashy, the highest kill earners for their team, both dropping. And it looks like uh, shots coming into that mid-street region. Those were from Mutex. Not seeing anyone currently, but that plant just gets off from Aquanic. He will escape with his life. He's working around the corner. Can he finish off Illy? Yes, he does exactly that. Two on two. He's working Aquanic. Need to stay up here for the set of Golden Blood to at least force the round 11. Shots coming in. Aquanic player just toward his left. Can he really check that angle? No, he will not. Bomb is still down. Twerk is one shot. Bullets beginning to fly in. Can he stay alive? But no, it will be Mutex who clutches out the one-on-one -on -one engagement and will make sure that we do not see a round 11. But in fact, we will see another round 10 victory for the side of SZN as they will now go up two maps to zero in our best of five series. We want to make sure that uh, a chat in the stream does realize these are not best of three. So the side of SZN hasn't won just yet. However, they're definitely looking to be in the driver's seat for that. Both Rapid and Dashy dropping double digits despite Ellie's only two kill performance. But uh, regardless of that, he does have his teammate to kind of pick up for that little bit of slack. So with that, guys, could we see one more map for the UMG Prime goes 44 s and It will be s and on Sovereign. Will be our final resting place. Can the side of SCN close out in a hot 3-0 in the finals? Or will we see Golden Blood respond and start to bring this one back? That is the question to be asking heading in to this commercial break, guys. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone, to the UMG Prime Goes 44 Search and Destroy. We're having some fun. It's late. It's it's 1.30 a.m., but we're trucking through. We're doing our best to try and stay sane as we hop in here toward round number one of map number three. It has been SCN who has been in the driver's seat throughout the first two maps, winning back-to-back uh, -back on both Octane and Warhawk, six rounds to four. And we'll see how the side of Golden Blood will respond here. It's like I said, they will be on the back foot. Definitely on defense right now is Golden Blood. Plant going down right now from Utex. As Hugs does find one on Dashy, so trying to even out the man count. However, the bomb is down. How does the retake come through? Formal on the flank. Might have been spotted by someone who was actually sitting in map room. It looks like Illy does take down Twerk at the same time. Formal, nice shot there onto Mutex. Tries to find the second one as well. Not going to be home. 25 seconds left to work with. Hugs, not an answer. Illy finding a hat trick in round number one along with a nice shoddy. I've been talking about this throughout the entire night. Every time we see Sovereign, the person who rocks the shotgun does well. And from the side of Golden Blood, we've both seen... Aquatic and Twerk at different times, both want the shotgun and do well. So, coming to this next round, I'm immediately looking at Twerk. I'm immediately looking at Aquatic. Aquatic. He's been rocking the shoddy. Heading into this next round. Gotta stand board the shoddy cam. Look, like it's only fair. And look, the sun will come through. This is going to let uh, Aquatic. Now, Stretcher Rush forward knows there's someone in this building, but no, he actually gets picked off for the Shoddy of the other side. That's going to be Dashy. Shoddies are out, and I love it. I like it a lot. Has to go for the reload. At least the uh, temporary reload as Dashy will pick up that vector off the ground. Shots continuing to come in as it looks like it will be Twerk now. Getting ready to find one. Just one on Mutex. 2v3. For both Rapid and Dashy. And it looks like Formal will shut down Dashy from behind. And it looks like Rapid could find Formal in exchange. So it does earn that line sight. Twerk will be getting that bomb down right now. And if Rapid, I was going to say, if he can immediately hop on that bomb and spot at least one, that could be good. And he realizes he either went to the right or he's going to be on Nest. Little does he know there's actually a player right behind him is the question. Can he run the corner? Rapid doesn't even see him. He has no, these players. Little, <gasps> and Rapid gets the greatest timing ever. Rapid just got amazing timing. Wow. You will not see a play like that happen in a very long time. Rapid completes the one on two. And somehow does a 360 knife. I don't understand how that happens. When, oh, yeah, that's right, because the diffuse comes and we don't see that again. Wow. That's interesting. All right. Uh, 2 0 to SZN. Not exactly sure what just took place. Because it seemed as if the round was over. Props to Rapid, man. Props. As uh, he just nades his own teammate, he's feeling so confident. It says we don't even need Dashy coming in this round number three. I doubt that's what he's saying. But if he was, then perfect timing. I made it two on four, and I make it a two on three. Mutex trying to even the man count out after a little bit of a, a mistake there coming in from Rapid. And Mutex not going to spot that player just toward the right on the stairs. And that's going to be left up to Illy. One on three. Rapid did it last round. Illy, it's up to you. Does get spotted from, I believe, the right side. And he will get picked off. There are too many line sights from the side of Golden Blood as they will officially get their first round on the board. As it really should have happened in the last round, but uh, regardless, the clutch comes in. Anyways, I'm going to continue to see if we got the shardies being pulled out. Looks like um, no shardies for one side. And it looks like a quantic. I believe that's the vector. Actually, I can't even tell at this point. Yeah, that is the vector. So, looks like no shotties at least for now. Unless we do see a, a swap before the round began. Dashy holding an angle here at B along with uh, one player. Actually, I don't know what Daddy or uh, 
Mutex and Dashi holding at A. Million Rapid at B. It looks like the push toward A could be one that's likely that is the case. Aquanic firing forward, gets a nice headshot there on Mutex. And here's Hugs to try and respond. No, he also drops as well, so Dashi finding two. That bomb is down. And Formal getting ready to enter forward. Question is, can he get the kill? He knows that he's there, but the pre-fire comes forward. Position earned, twerk drops, and so does Formal. Ilya and Dashi combining for a few at the end. Dashi, I believe, finding a hat trick in this round. The nice team shots coming forward as it's now going to be three rounds to one. It is the side of SEN. And uh, three players right now, both uh, Rapid, Illy, and Dashi, all with four kills apiece. Definitely doing majority of that slang. Text toss and stuns the nades forward, trying to gain some insight as Aquanic enters inside of B with the shoddy. Looks like Formal holding off on A and Hugs and Aquanic, or excuse me, Hugs, as well as Twerk just toward the backside. They're going to be getting in some long range Remington gunfights. You see Hugs holding at one angle. His rapid shuts down Aquanic, so Shoddy's down. It's important to mention that. As Mutex and Co. Might try to play the weight game. We'll go for that early pick. Twerk tries to enter in, finds one. Paper starts to splatter everywhere as he finds another one. Evening this one out in his team's favor. Now Illy. Left in a one on three. Bomb is down. And that setup just totally gets broken with Twerk's play there. As Twerk is down. Illy finds one. Can he find the second one though? Tries to enter in forward. Finds that one as well. Hugs is down. One on one. Formal versus Illy. And Formal is currently not in a position to stop this bomb from going down. But that not, might, might not actually even be the case. That might not actually be happening right now. Illy goes for the plant. Formal's checking here at A. And that one's clear, so Formal gonna have to make that sprint forward. How does he try and retake this? Might have spotted him on top nest. Can he get the good timing is the question. It looks like he does for the moment, but Illy checking every which way. Formal coming from the stairs. Can he spot him? But no, it's not going to be there. Illy will clutch out that one-on-one -on -one engagement. What seemed like it could be a total turnaround from Twerk at three. Found two. Inside of top control. Turns up into a one-on-one -on -one after Illy goes big. And now Illy's up to seven and two, along with the fact that instead of SCN is up four rounds to one. You like to imagine that this next round did go SCN's way. This one will definitely be out of the question as to uh, whether Golden Blood could close this one out just after being already down at two maps. Some could even question that it is looking very grim now. I definitely agree with that statement. Defensive team playing fairly passive at the moment. Dashi though continuing with that shoddy work. Finds another one as actually kills trying to go in from either side and Dashi totally explodes as he finds all four. We need to watch this again. Dashi goes on an absolute tear. Give me one, two, and the third. What a play from Dashi. And that's why the shotgun is good on Sovereign. That is exactly why. And Dashi for kicks is like, you know what? I did so, such work with, this, with the, the shotgun. I'm just going to pull out the sniper now, just for good measure. Five rounds to one. Well, Golden Blood, good luck. Godspeed. This is not going to be an easy comeback. Players dropping from either side, and Illy just around the right side is going to get picked off there, so Quanic finishes him off. And now Rapid and Mutex. For the title. A prime champion, they close this one out. Rapid firing forward is able to even the man count out. One player coming from behind. It looks like that is going to be Twerk, but no, he gets met. He doesn't check the right angle. And now Formal's left all by himself. Formal gets the god name, but no, it's going to do it. Mutex will be there for the one-on-one. -on -one. And he 
will close it out as this search and destroy on Sovereign will end out six rounds to one. Illy finishing seven and three, Dashy finishing off nine and five, and Rapid finishing off seven and three. I mean, just a few moments to bring up. I mean, we end up seeing uh, Dashy shotgun play, Illy's clutches. We end up seeing Rapid get an amazing timing on that knife. I believe that was from Rapid. That was crazy. That was a very, very interesting series to watch. Of course, it did go down as a 3-0, but a very, very close early two maps that both went to round 10. To kind of recap things for you guys, map number one on Octane Search and Destroy ended up going, of course, SCN's way. They went that one 6-4. to four. Uh, Map number two, SND on Warhawk, also went 6-4. to four. That one as well went to SZN. And then we just witnessed SND on Sovereign. At six rounds to one, a dominant victory for the side of SZN in the entire scheme of things as they win the finals and are now declared the victors of the UMG Prime Ghost 4v4 Search and Destroy. So major props to those guys as they do walk away with the title of champions and uh, of course props as well to the side of golden blood i know we got to uh, watch them through a number of different matches tonight and of course that wasn't an easiest of runs that they ended up having so uh props to the side of golden blood for making as far as they did um however though i want to give a quick shout to our sponsors as well as a giveaway that we're doing before we do head to a final commercial break for the night of course shout out to origin pc choir clothing scuff gaming and zowie a brand by ben q major major shout out to our sponsors of course for making tournaments like this one happen as uh of course before we do head to a final commercial break Chat to a uh, giveaway that we're going to be doing actually for you guys for the month of September. If you guys are curious, before you do leave the chat tonight, feel free to put exclamation point giveaway and you'll be greeted with a nice little link where you guys can follow some information where you'll be greeted with a few different options uh, in the giveaway as well. We'll be giving away uh, a UMG scuff. I think we're giving away uh, two copies of World War II, uh, UMG Prime, as well as UMG Cret. So a lot to be given away and you have your opportunity to potentially walk away with some of those prizes. So do not let that opportunity slip. I'm looking at you. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's going to do it for tonight. I hope you guys have enjoyed the coverage of the 4v4 Prime Search and Destroy tournament. If you guys are interested in what to stay tuned for future tournaments, feel free to hit the follow button here on our Twitch at UMG Events, as well as on Twitter at UMG Events as well. It would obviously mean a lot to us. And if you guys are curious and want to watch some of the VODs in case you missed anything or from prior tournaments that we broadcasted here on this stream, you can also stay tuned to UMG Events on YouTube as well. Uh, for all of that VOD content. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it from myself, Landon Lando Sanders, as well as the studio crew tonight. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We really, really do appreciate all of your guys' support. Hoping that you guys all have a fantastic morning, because it is now morning, and uh, we will see you guys all next time. Thanks for tuning in.